Web development or web programming gave birth to dynamic web applications. Now with the rise of the web, JavaScript has definitely become one of the most important languages in today's world. Hi everyone, this is Shantini from Edureka and in today's session we will discuss about the top 10 JavaScript libraries that are used in the applications. Now before we begin this session, let's have a look at today's agenda. So first we will discuss about JavaScript libraries and then we will move on and have a look at the list of top 10 JavaScript libraries. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel to stay connected. Now talking about the JavaScript libraries, it consists of functions that are used to build applications with powerful functionalities. Now a library has several functions, objects and methods depending on the language. So your application can link to a library that provides access to that particular functionality. Now let's have a look at the list of some of the most popular JavaScript libraries that help you perform complex tasks easily. So first we have the jQuery, then we have d3.js, then React, QUnit, Parsley, jQuery UI, Glimmer, Anime.js, Video.js and finally Multiple.js. Now these are some of the most popular and also most commonly used libraries in JavaScript for various applications. So let's get into the depth of all of these libraries and see how it works and why do we need to use them. Now talking about the first library we have jQuery. It is definitely one of the most popular libraries. Now jQuery is a library which is used for the document object model manipulation. That is the DOM. Now this DOM is actually a tree like structure that represents all the elements on a web page. It is also one of the most preferable libraries to create animations, handle events and many more. Now the goal of jQuery is to be extensible, simple and also clear to use. Not just that, it also takes care of all the cross browser incompatibilities and promotes the separation of HTML and JavaScript. Now moving on to the next one, we have the d3.js. Now this library is mostly used for visualizing the data. So what happens here is that it manipulates your documents based on the content and also it will help you bring the data to life with the help of HTML, SVG and CSS. Now you can generate your HTML tables or create interactive SVG charts with the help of this particular library. Not just that, the d3.js library has a powerful API that uses selectors similar to jQuery. So once you have selected an element in the DOM, you can do all sorts of transitions and manipulations with the help of your d3.js. Now next up is another popular JavaScript library. So we have React. Now React or the React.js is an open source library which is also backed by Facebook. Not just that, it helps in creating small or large scale web applications and is particularly useful in creating interactive websites. Now this particular library is definitely one of the most preferable one when you need to build user interfaces and this helps in improving the customer experience as well. React is definitely the library you should look out for if you are into front end web development. Now moving on to the next library we have the QUnit. Now manual testing of your complex applications is pretty tiring and also time consuming. Therefore QUnit was developed for testing any JavaScript code. So this one actually supports your client side environments in web browsers and also the server side. So the QUnit library is a comprehensive library that has great community support and a short learning curve. It's definitely one of the most preferable ones when it comes to any sort of testing for your JavaScript code. Now let's move on to the next one. Next we have the Parsley. So if your next project incorporates any sort of forms, Parsley is the library you are looking for. So this JavaScript library actually focuses on form validation and also it is very user friendly. Now it also works wonderfully with garlic that is the JavaScript library that keeps form fields data until submitted. 
Now Parsley is definitely one of the best choices for building any creative website. Not just that it provides more form validation techniques than any other JavaScript library. So if you're working with any sort of form validation or email validation, you must go for Parsley. Also, if you want to know more about form validation and email validation, do check out our videos on email validation and form validation that will provide you with a step by step guide on how you can perform these validations. Now next up we have the jQuery UI. So we have already talked about jQuery and why it is used in JavaScript or how it actually functions. Now this is another add on of jQuery. So we have jQuery UI which is used to add basic graphic elements to your application after you have incorporated your jQuery library. Now this particular library stands out for various reasons. Now the most important one out of them is that jQuery UI works with any browser. So users are less likely to complain that the application is not working as expected because you can just go on with any sort of browser that you want to use and it will work the same way and also give you the results. Now next up we have the glimmer. Now glimmer.js was actually built by the ember team for the developers who were looking for something smaller and lighter weight than the ember.js. So what happens here is that it helps you with UI components and also the DOM rendering. Not just that this library is also built using the ember CLI and uses the git node.js npm and yarn. So if you are looking for a tool to generate components and helpers or help with project layouts and streamline your process glimmer must be your choice. So you can opt for this particular library without any doubt while working with any of these things. Now next up we have the anime.js. Now animations and micro interactions are quite popular these days. You wouldn't want to go to a website which is dull and boring without any animations. Now anime.js is a flexible JavaScript library that helps you in adding some dashes of motion to your site. So it works with CSS, individual transforms, SVG, DOM attributes and JavaScript objects to make it extremely versatile and perfect for almost any project. So basically this particular library will add life to your otherwise boring website. So this was about animations. Now what if you want to add some videos? So for that we have the video.js. Now the video.js is a library that helps you build full screen videos to beautifully cite backgrounds. Moreover, this library also makes your task of adding a video background super easy. And not just that it also looks good on every screen size and scales super smoothly. So you can definitely say that this is a perfect choice if you are working with videos for your web applications. So the next time you're trying to make your website look beautiful with some videos embedded in the background do consider the video.js library. Now finally on number 10 we have the multiple.js. Now multiple.js is an amazing library that will help you create interesting background visuals. So it allows you to share a background image across multiple elements with the help of CSS which actually creates a really interesting visual effect. So what happens here is that you can have multiple screens and also different sort of backgrounds embedded together to make your website look even more beautiful. So these were some of the top 10 JavaScript libraries that would help you build a creative website design. These are also some of the most popular ones right now. And with this we have come to the end of our session today. But don't forget to let us know about your opinion in the comment section below and also let us know about other libraries that you have worked with for different applications. And if you have any queries put that up in the comment section as well we will get back to you. Till then thank you and happy learning.